Hello YouTube, Jar of Bricks here with a Lego mock. So this is my police station mock I've been making over the last uh, couple of weeks. I used it making um, two sets of the modular that came out this year from Lego and a lot of 1x2 blue bricks and the dark tan tiles. And fortunately I was able to get the dark tan tiles and the blue bricks from the pick brick wall back when we were allowed to go to the Lego shop and use the pick a brick wall before we were not allowed to go outdoors anymore so it was uh, fortunate I was able to get them uh, I think the color works really well so uh, let me take you from the ground floor up as it's pretty tall so I won't be able to do it all together I've had to take the tip of the um, tower off the communications tower off so I'm able to get it on the table so let me show you okay so uh, this is the ground floor and I wanted to use the color scheme that came with the official modular set and um, did think it looked nice uh, they had these pieces for hanging from the window and I thought it looked really nice um, but they had very little in that color so I wanted to use more of that um, to have this main block going up um, but I wanted it to be a modern building not a old style building like the modular is so um, I just have these dark blue uh, sections going up the uh, tower um, I really like the bushes. Now, these are the tree pieces that came with the modular set. They're just interlocked. It's awkward to get them lined up and put on the um, plate, um, but you know, eventually you get there. It's just about position it correctly. I just thought it looks quite nice, just as a as a little bush uh, around the uh, bottom and give it a little bit of a variation um, in color from the building colors and. Um, yeah, I thought it looked really nice. Just got a little ventilation shaft here. This is the lift, supposedly being the lift shaft. Uh, back door, uh, I wanted a bit of space there just so um, in universe, it'd be the, the cars that pull up to take the bad guys into the uh, holding cell. Um, and just around this side, just to extend the uh, theme how, how these tiles go all the way up So let's have a look inside the ground floor so moving Through you've got the uh, main desk and that desk is the main desk that you got with the uh, modular set um, just put a, a clock on the wall behind it and the holding cell is just behind um, the desk using the um, sticker that comes with one of the back cave sets for the holding cell I never used it in the back cave as I don't see why any Batman would ever take bad guys into his super secret hideout so um, had two spare holding cell stickers so utilized it there and then inside can you see inside look. the prison cell you just got a bed and a toilet and then moving round, you've got the waiting room with the water next to the windows. And then the lift, which I've just made a different colour. Uh, it's not a functioning lift, it's an imaginary lift, but uh, I think it works nicely not having stairs. So it frees up a lot of space um, to make some stuff. And so yeah, that's it. That's the ground floor. So taking you to the first floor. So up the lift we go and we come out on this floor where there's a police officer just making sure that the only official people are allowed up this floor because we have the evidence locker uh, in that um, chest there's some um, special gems and precious things in there um weapons with fingerprints on that's going to be used in the court of law and lots of confiscated money 
uh, because of all of the donuts they've been selling illegally and uh, also I've just put um, a little play feature so that uh, bad guys can nick the stuff and this was uh, if you recall the sticker that came with um, uh, the Dino uh, Jurassic World something manor park or something like that uh, so I just utilized it there and I've just put a little stud there um, because um, I haven't got one to hand at the moment but let me just try and find something similar so when you have the the rope sections uh, the bad guys can just clip that on I can't do it one-handed bear with me yes it is quarter to four here um, so yeah you can um, just climb up the side of the building and blow up the uh, what's it also you can put some little clips there and clip some dynamite to it which will blow up this so the bad guys can get out so just put a little bit of a play feature in it you've got your, your prison cells there well they're not prison cells but there's prison cell bars um, but they're just security doors in order to get into those areas and here is the armory uh, when you say armory you expect to have lots of weapons and things like that but this is a British prison I suppose and we don't our police don't have guns so it's and it's Lego which is a toy so instead of guns you've got crowbars you've got walkie talkies and you've got handcuffs um, so yeah, that's the armory, and of course you need your TNT. Don't know why, but it felt appropriate to stick it in there. So yep, yeah, that's the first floor. Let's go up the lift to the second. So up to the second floor, what do we have here? Um, we have our interrogation chamber. Um, we've got the one-way mirror on there on one side, and the recording stuff behind our perp as uh, he's getting interviewed and that's on the wall supposed to be a little bit of a security camera make sure bad cop doesn't come along and throw a chair at our guy and then um, just on the other side of our one way mirror we've got a camera and uh, some kind of police guy watching and taking notes um, I forgot to say on these ones I've started to put an um, air conditioning unit on the outside of this one I didn't put it on the ground floor only the um, first, second, third and just that's it, third um, and just use the standard brown doors to get in and that's it, that's our second floor let's go to the third our third floor, this is where our police officers do all of their investigating. Um, so just got a load of desks there and uh, their badges on the wall to say that they're certified police officers. And of course you need to know the time. And then um, the, I don't know what they're called, evidence wall, um, incident wall, I don't know, whatever that's called. Because uh, I bought two sets, I had two of everything, so I just made the... Um, whatever that thing's called a little bit bigger put the two elastic bands on just to make it more complex stuck some wanted signs on put the joker on some evidence of his cards dna strands because that's what the police collect don't they nowadays when a crime is committed and yep that's it so um there were guys a lot more guys in there now but now they're on the beat catching the bad guys uh, that they've been investigating so let's go to the roof so here's our roof so uh, just put the police badge on the uh, outside of the building with PD written then you can see it up close I'm not sure if you can work out what that says from a distance but that's what it is anyway uh, continue the blue theme around the top and we have the lift shaft here um, which comes up same color doors as well behind the gray door when it closes and uh, another little doohickey because doohickeys are cool and then the uh, communications uh, tower I suppose let me just get a better angle of that 
it was a little bit bigger this tower um, communications tower that is um, but uh, I took it down as some were saying it looks a bit daft and a bit bulky so um, it was about that much taller and I had a big black thing coming up here and you know, these things all the way around it are just those little clips but I had a bars in them all coming up which just just made it from a distance you couldn't see any of the details from a distance actually it just looked like a giant cone so I've just simplified it all a little bit and taken that off hopefully it looks a little bit better um, it, you know it, it, it can turn as well you've got the little computer terminal at the bottom um, and that's just two of them are stuck down and two of them can open up like that on opposite sides and then bits fall off on your hand which is great when you're trying to do it one-handed um, so yeah I was, I was quite pleased about this and the way it looked and you know some people said it looks bulky and ugly but uh, I think it looks quite cool I based it on um, the towers that they had in the Spider-Man computer game on the PS4 um, I thought it looked really cool so I wanted to have something similar um, and if you look at um, a YouTuber called uh, Steve Pulder, um, he's got a similar style uh, police station um, mock uh, using different colours and different, slightly different, but uh, he did one of these towers and I just thought it looked really cool so I just uh, made my own version. But check his out if you want to see some a, a slightly different variation of the same thing. Um, and I will put the roof on now and you can see it in the city. Okay, so there she is in her full glory. I like the size of it, not too big, not too small, but um, stands out um, above the rest. Um, this side of the, build, of the city, should I say, I have got the space to have taller buildings as opposed to over on that side where the roof gets in the way um, so um, I wanted to have something a little bit taller and you've got the city gardens height comparison there so you can just see how tall it actually is um, I think it looks um, really nice where it is and I, I wanted it to I didn't want it to be a corner modular or the middle section modular I just wanted it to be a standalone so that's why Although I've put it on a 32 by 32 base plate, it could go anywhere. It could go on a corner, could go um, in between two corners and it would still look okay. Obviously, if, as long as it doesn't hit the roof, that's fine. Um, so yeah, really pleased with the way it looks. Let me just show you from a few different locations. Finally from the other side, so I was really pleased with the way that this building turned out. I wanted to do it for a while. I was going to build this just before the release of the modular, so I just thought I'd hang fire as um, I knew some cool bits would come from that so I could put in it, which I did. And so uh, that's my Lego police station mock. So let me know what you think of it, if you liked it, if you didn't. Um, let me know if you've got any ideas to improve it. And also on that communications tower at the top, is it good, is it bad, is it ugly, is it grand? Uh, let me know. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it as um, those things actually really help the city develop or should i say the channel develop which develops the city so i was right the first time anyway thank you again and goodbye